<laughs> Today is going to be a great day. Allison is going to drive a tractor for the very first time ever. And not only that, she's going to run the brush hog. Now, Allison, what is this that you brought with you today? A fan and sunscreen and my coffee and a hat. Okay. What? Do you no. not have a basket or something to put it in? A basket. There's no basket. Um, there is a cup holder. You'll have to take my Gatorade out. But what yeah. Am I to put all of it? There's a little compartment over there. All right. I'm going to teach you how to drive this and uh, we're going to get started. I don't have to back up, do I? You do. You need to learn that. What? That wasn't part of the plan. I'm going forward only. Forward only. Okay, we can make that work. So steering it is just like a car. You've got your steering wheel. This operates your loader, your bucket in the front. You shouldn't have to worry about that. I'll get you started on that. Okay. This is how you drive. The left, push it down to go forward. Okay. The right, push it down to go backwards. Okay. Super easy. Okay, over on this side, this is your gear selector. This tractor has a neutral, high, and low. Today, we're gonna just stay in low. Okay, we're gonna go low and slow. This pedal here, this is your brake. You shouldn't use this. We're just gonna do flat mowing today. To stop, all you need to do is really just take your foot off the pedal. This would be if you're on a hill or if you really need to stop. This is your throttle. This basically is what changes how your engine revs up. So when we bush hog the PTO in the back where it spins, this needs to say 540. It'll go up and down a little bit. You just want to keep it right around 540. It's not going to apply today, but something really important to know is when the rollover bar is up, which on this one I pretty much leave it up all the time. Um, very important to have your seat belt on. So go ahead and buckle up. It's on your right hand side by your hip. The thought of that is if you were to roll over, which isn't going to happen today because we're just doing flat ground, um, that'll keep you in your safety bubble in your seat. Okay, so we're going to drive down to the back part of the property. Do you feel comfortable driving it? No, I'm nervous. I don't even know what to do yet. Okay. <laughs> All right, so turn the key one click to the right. Do I need my foot on the brake? Not yet. All right, so now we need to make sure we're in neutral before we start it. So up one click to the middle. All right, okay. now turn the key just like a car. There we go. All right, so before you drive, you got to make sure your loader, look, at, look up front, your loader bucket's down on the ground. We can't drive like that, so take that loader arm over on the right, that stick, and pull it back towards the back of the tractor, slowly. There you go, a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, that should be good. It's nice and flat where we're going. All right, so now the brush hog in the back is on the ground. We can't drive like that either. So you're gonna take, there's a little black lever over there, pull that up and watch the bush hog when you do that. Pull it all the way back, nice and slow. Keep going, all the way. Keep going. Alright, very good. Copy break. So next let's shift into low gear. Put your foot on the brake. Shift into low gear. On the left. There you go. Alright, now let your foot off the brake. And it it shouldn't go anywhere. You're fine. Now push that left pedal forward just a little bit, hand on the steering wheel. And go ahead and drive around the house. It's just like a riding mower at this point. So drive it around the house and that way you don't have to go reverse. I think we're going 0.2 miles per hour. So now that we're on pavement, go ahead and shift it into high gear with your foot on the brake. And go ahead and rev it up a little more. Now you get the speed that you want. So I'll 
follow you on the side by side. You want my sun hat? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> you sure you don't want my sun hat? I'm pretty sure. Maybe so. This is the field she's gonna brush hog today. It's pretty tall. Some of it's probably four feet tall, if not higher. So this will be pretty good. What do you think of this pasture? Uh, it's <laughs> a little goes a long way. It's all right. Slam it home. So she's done one lap around and I've told her that if she hears something clanking or funky going on in the back to pull that towards the back of the tractor, that'll raise up the brush cutter. The most important thing is to keep an eye on this temp gauge. When we're cutting stuff this tall, the seed heads will fly off and the radiator fan will suck it in and it'll clog the grill and it'll get hot really quick. It's really easy to overheat. So keep a close eye on the temp gauge. Other than that, I think you got it. You ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. All right. drawn quite the crowd looks like she can lower it just a little bit let that tail wheel rest just a hair there we go
down. Let's see what's going on. We found a hole. Where? Should be able to drive out of it. That's interesting. I didn't know that was there. Alright, you should pull out of it just fine. Oh wow. Yeah. You alright? Okay. Yeah, I would say just uh, be careful. Keep going. You can keep it in four wheel drive, it's good. Yep. How's your temperature? Awesome. You're doing great. look over your shoulder and go in reverse it's not like a trailer it's not gonna pivot it's just like an extension of the tractor so it's just like backing up a car it's not gonna swing on you There's no, holes no holes don't go past that big bush here though just back in like you because you'll want to go forward and backwards to get some of this stuff trimmed up it's not hard just try to practice it a couple times bad for a first timer well what are your final thoughts um, I don't know if it was fun but I did it and I probably got a really good tan from it so. it wasn't fun <laughs> I think music probably would have helped we can make that happen next time um, I did see a bunny and I saw a toad and I had a butterfly land on me and a grasshopper hit me in the face so too bad you didn't find any hornet's nests. Yeah, I'm glad that didn't happen. I would have been off that tractor real fast. John, how do you think Mommy did? <laughs> I think she did well. I do too, man. Thanks, man. Looks great. So now we need to go over it again in the opposite direction to knock it down even better. Oh, stop it. Just kidding. All right, stay tuned for more videos. If you like this, hit that subscribe button. I've got some bush hogging videos, some tree pulling videos, some forestry mulching videos coming soon. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Yeah.